Today at Willwood Disc Brakes, we're going to show you how easy it can be to upgrade your vehicle to our big brake kit. Before we begin, it's important to read through our datasheet instructions designed for your application to verify brake lines, wheel clearance, and look for any variations that may have taken place before or after the vehicle left the factory. With the vehicle properly secured and the wheels removed, we suggest taking some photos of the current setup for reference if needed. Disassemble the original equipment front brakes. Clean and degrease the axle hub and uprights. The caliper mount bracket should initially be installed with clean, dry threads on the mounting bolts. Initially place one shim on each bolt between the bracket and the upright. Orient the bracket as shown and install using bolts and washers. Temporarily tighten the mounting bolts. Note: The bracket must fit squarely against the mounting bosses on the upright. Inspect for interference from casting irregularities, machining ridges, burrs, etc. Initially place two shims on each stud between the caliper and the bracket. The hat rotor assembly has been pre-assembled at the factory. Verify the retaining ring holding the hat to the rotor together is fully engaged in the groove in the hat. Slide the hat and rotor assembly onto the axle hub. Note, the hat must fit flush against the axle hub flange or excessive rotor runout may result. Install the hat locator screw OEM as shown to keep the hat rotor assembly in place while continuing with the installation. Note, this kit contains distinct right and left hand calipers that must be mounted in a specific direction. Ensure that the caliper is mounted so that the largest pistons are at the rotor exit end of the caliper in relation to the direction of the rotor rotation. View the rotor through the top opening of the caliper. The rotor should be centered in the caliper. If not, adjust by adding or subtracting shims between the bracket and the upright. Always use the same amount of shims on each of the two mounting bolts. Once the caliper alignment is correct, Remove the bracket mounting bolts one at a time, apply red Loctite 271 to the threads, and torque to instruction specifications. Remove the caliper from the bracket. Remove the two pad retaining pins from the caliper by pushing out on the pins from the tapered end using a blunt instrument. Insert the brake pads into the caliper from the bottom. With the friction material facing the rotor, secure the brake pads in place with the pad retaining pins. Reinstall the caliper onto the caliper mounting bracket and temporarily tighten the lock nuts. Lubricate the caliper mounting studs with lightweight oil. Check that the top of the brake pad is flush with the outside diameter of the rotor. If not, adjust by adding or subtracting shims between the caliper and the bracket. After the caliper pad height is set, torque the caliper lock nuts to instruction specifications. Disconnect the factory brake line from the hard line. The OEM bracket for the brake hose needs to be modified by opening up the hole to the instruction specifications. Attach the bulkhead fitting to the hard line. Install the provided retaining clip. Attach the flex line to the bulkhead fitting. Remove the OEM brake line and caliper. Next, using PTFE tape, install the fitting into the caliper. Connect the flex line to the fitting. Carefully route hoses to prevent contact with moving suspension, brake, or wheel components. Double check all your work for safety reasons, and when ready, perform a full system fill and bleed with new wheelwood brake fluid best suited for your application. Be sure to check again for sufficient wheel clearance and follow the directions for proper bedding of pads and pedal feel. Contact a professional if you encounter any difficulties or have any doubts or any questions.